Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. Today's tutorial is, first of all, super simple. Second of all, it's non-traditional because it is going to use scissors, but there's no glue, no staples, no cutting up lots of little pieces of paper. It is one single sheet of paper with one cut in it. And it's very easy. What we're going to do is take an eight and a half by 11, or in this case an A4 sheet of paper, depending on what country you're in. It's just copy paper for the printer. And we're going to turn it into, and we're going to turn it into a little book. How cool is that? All right, let me know. And we're going to turn it into a little book. How cool is that? Here's an example of something I made out of it. I used three um, of my printable papers that I sell on my website, and then I did a bit of mixed media stuff, and my plan is to put some inspirational quotes and maybe some little photos in there, and then give it to somebody for Christmas. You could even use these as place cards on your uh, Christmas dinner table, if you like. Um, let me know what you're planning to do with your little book in the comments below. Please click like if you like simple tutorials, simple, straightforward, easy tutorials and that only take a few minutes. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get to the tutorial. All right, here it is. A little book made out of an A4 in this case or eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Super simple. As you can see, I've played around with it a little, little bit. But very straightforward. This will make an awesome little scrapbook, or as I said uh, previously, you could use it as a place card. Let me know in the comments below again what you um, are planning on using it for, because I'd love some inspiration. So there's the little book, and you can see all this glitter from my uh, <laughs> my creative pursuits of what to do with it, how to decorate it. But here is the book itself, plain. It's very straightforward. You end up with four pages all together, including the cover. So the cover plus two pages. And it is absolutely adorable. This is the size you get with an A4. Again, eight and a half by 11 is slightly different, but it's not, not that much different. All right, let's get to it. You've got scissors and an A4 or an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Let's put the scissors to the side for a moment and work with the paper itself. So we are going to fold the paper the long way so that it makes a long skinny rectangle and we're going to fold it in half. Once again, that long skinny rectangle is key in this case. Once that's finished, we're going to open it back up again. So now you can see this crease here. We are going to fold the paper in half. very neatly so that it's a short rectangle instead of a long skinny one. Now without opening it up, I'm turning it so, so it's folded like a book. I'm going to turn it one quarter turn so that the folded edge is up at the top and the two flaps are down at the bottom. I'm going to take that top flap and take this raw edge and fold it up so that it meets the fold and you want it to be as neat as possible. The neater it is, the more impressive your little book is going to be when it's complete. And crease it really, really well, and then flip it over. And do exactly the same thing. Again, that fold is up here at the top, and this is the other flap. And again, line it up really well, and crease really well. Again, neatness counts with this one, guys. So you've created what looks like a W on the side or an M, and it's sort of an accordion folded sheet of paper. Now here's where the cut comes in, and it is so super important to cut in the right place, okay? I'm going to unfold these two flaps like so and I'm going to start my scissors at the fold. Once again, at the fold, super key. If you fold in from the two flaps, it will not do what it's supposed to do. And you'll need to get another piece of paper. 
So starting the scissors at the fold, you are going to cut. Okay, for viewing purposes, I'm just going to draw a line where the fold is. You won't actually need to draw a line because you have already folded it. So I can see the folds, but you guys can't see the folds, unfortunately. So that's where the um, line's coming in. I'm just going to draw a line from where the two folds uh, meet out to the edge. And this is the folded edge. Okay, so I'm just going to cut along that line. Again, you don't need to draw this line. It will be in obvious to you when you fold it where the fold line is. So you're just cutting along the fold line up to the middle of the paper. And you'll know it's the middle because that's where the two folds intersect. Just like that. Here comes the fun part. Super, super simple. You're going to fold it back out to a full sheet. So now you have a slit in the middle of the sheet. So now that you're like this, you just go the way the fold wants to go along the long line, like this, and then press your two sides together. So see how I have a plus sign? Just going to do that real quickly so you don't have to rewind it. So I'm going to fold it in half just along the way the fold just along the fold the way it wants to fold and then I'm going to press them together and bring them around give it a really good crease but there's your little book so all you have to do is decorate it and you are ready to go you know I was just thinking this would actually be really great for um, like if you're going on a holiday or a vacation with the kids and they're in the car and bored out of their minds, they, you could say, well, why don't you start a little journal and give them a, you know, one of these little books to write in or even have them make their own before they, before they go. You could have one little journal per day or something for your, for your road trip. I don't know, just an idea. Super simple, lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day. Bye guys.